I'd like to do is I'd like to go ahead and um, get you guys introduced to Brian. Brian is fantastic. He's been awesome to work with. He's going to go over some of the product information and opportunities that are available with Emeritus um, for the dental and vision plans. And then at the end, we're going to go ahead and open up um, some opportunities for some Q&A at the end. So hopefully you guys all hang with us. All right, perfect. Well, thank you, Tammy. And thank you, everyone, for joining the webinar here this afternoon. Really excited to be with everyone. I truly enjoy doing these webinars. Um, if, if any of you kind of pay close attention to the, the various emails that HCP and others send out, you'll see that we do these webinars on a fairly consistent basis. And this is something that I've been uh, very intent on continuing to do. I feel like it gives me kind of good perspective of the independent agents that are out there that are offering our products. It, it kind of keeps perspective in terms of, you know, what's working, what's not working, what do folks like, what do folks not like. The only thing I don't like about webinars is it's tough to get a grasp on the audience, you know. And so that's kind of one of the reasons why um, I, I thought it was, it was a great idea by Tammy to go ahead and kind of ask a question to on the, the front end in terms of just getting to better know the audience because my goal is to tailor this as much as possible. Now it's going to be semi boilerplate um, inevitably. Hopefully, it's, hopefully it's not to the point of boilerplate to where you're thinking, you know, at the end of this, like, oh gosh, just another large company webinar. That is not my goal. As a matter of fact, whatever the opposite of that is, <laughs> that's my goal. <laughs> you know, I mean, my thought process is, is if you just wanted the facts and the figures. You could probably go to YouTube um, or just call one of the folks at HCP or call Emeritus and probably get so get that information in a very timely manner. Um, so I'm going to try to go much beyond the facts and the figures and the boilerplates. I want to try to give you some background on the why, um, at least to the degree that I think that you may care. Um, I want to try to tailor the message to you as much as possible. And so you know the way that you answer the questions of the cross selling is important to me. Um, and then most importantly, I want to get to the Q&A as quick as possible because I really think that's where um, I can probably add the most value to you. Um, so with all of that said, let's first start with the first question that, that Tammy asked, which is how frequently do you cross-sell? And I find this really interesting. So she shared the results with me. And about half of you cross-sell dental or vision uh, 0 to 25% of the time. Um, somewhere around a third of you. Um, are cross-selling quite a bit, about 50 to 75 percent of the time. And so that variance, that very distinctive difference is extremely, extremely interesting to me. Um, and, and I think it's telling on both sides. And, and so my assumption, and I'd love for somebody to confirm, is if, if those of you that are in that 50 to 75 percent camp, um, are you, I'm assuming, you are offering dental and or vision every single time, and thus by offering every single time, 50 to 75% of the time, you are getting a sale. And for those of you that are in that 0 to 25% camp, I am assuming you either don't sell dental at all, or you'll only sell it if you're asked. Those are my assumptions, and if anyone's got any thoughts from those respective camps on whether those assumptions are accurate, um, or if you think that there is, uh, if there's something else, um, I'd love to uh, kind of hear your thoughts. So feel free to just shoot those com comments to us. And like I said, we'll, I'm going to do my best to try to incorporate the, the audience specifically to, to this message here today. So what do we specifically have planned? I'm going to, of course, run through with you the Emeritus Prime Star product, and I'm going to show you our enrollment tool. Just try to keep it very simple. Uh, by way of background, uh, to give you kind of a sense of how did we get to where we are today, um, I've been with Emeritus technically now for five years, but I came through Emeritus through an acquisition of Security Life. Security Life was based out of uh, Minnesota and really had a focus on individual dental. Security Life was a relatively small insurance carrier, and one benefit of being a small insurance company is, is you're a lot more uh, flexible and you're a lot more, you have the ability to make much grander, I'll call them wholesale changes. and so the way that Security Life kind of distinguished themselves in the marketplace was through technology, both on the front end and the back end. And so we're really known with the Prime Star product to have the simplest and quickest enrollment tool. And we're really known for having 
um, complete automation on the on the back end, uh, meaning when a policy is issued, everything is automated from there. So that really cuts down on all the you know the the, serv the potential service issues that can occur with issuance of really any insurance policy that's out there. Uh, back in March of 2016, the agreement was finally completed that Emerge Meredith purchased Security Life, and thus I officially joined Ameris at that point. And uh, ever since then, it's frankly just been kind of a wild ride. And the reason why I say that is because now that Emeritus, now that we are Emeritus, um, things have just frankly exploded. Because if you think about it before, if you knew of us when we were Security Life, um, relatively speaking, we didn't really have a brand. We had virtually no network. We just had a leasable network. And we, ver and we had no rating because we're B+. Now we've got the A rating. We've got the largest network for an individual dental plan. Uh, and we've got the Emeritus brand, and Emeritus has a brand, has $1.2 billion in, in dental insurance alone. Plus they offer life, plus they offer annuities, retirement plans, uh, an investment division, uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Emeritus is out of Lincoln, Nebraska. Um, th this is the bison. That's a new, that's a new question that, I, that I've that i been getting as of late. What exactly is that? Is that a buffalo or a bison? It's technically a, it's technically a bison. Um, but yeah, so we're, we're talking about individual dental and vision. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a little bit more granular in terms of how the product specifically is different from others. But I also want to talk more about just kind of like why dental in general. The reason why I think that's important is because half of you really aren't selling dental. And so, uh, you know, for the third of you that are selling dental, you know, I, I want to talk about kind of why I merit this. But for the half of you that aren't selling dental, I want to be certain we cover that too. So we'll kind of, I'll kind of try to do my best to show the both. So with that said, let's kind of jump into it. Uh, why PrimeStar specifically and why Emeritus? Uh, from a PrimeStar product standpoint, our plan is available to all ages. So whether you're working on the under 65 side or the over 65 side, same rate regardless of age. We offer day one coverage that's inclusive of major and inclusive of ortho, and we also offer everyday effective dates. For those of you that are wondering about state availability, uh, apparently we've already had some questions around that. Uh, here's the state availability. We are a 47 state carrier as of today. Historically, we've been 50. Um, through the transition at the beginning of this year, on 1-1, so just about you know two and a half months ago, we switched paper from security to emeritus. We lost Massachusetts and Maryland during that point. Uh, Massachusetts and Maryland, I believe, will be fairly quickly recaptured. Um, Washington is probably going to be a little bit more of a long-term project. So uh, realistically, I would say we're probably a 49 state carrier, uh, but as of where we're at today, it's 47 states. Three of those states, Connecticut, Illinois, and New York, are state specific, meaning the product is slightly different than those states. So if you're not in one of the states that you see on the screen right now, this is what I'm gonna show you next, is what we call kind of like our quote unquote national product. This is our top plan, Vantage Plus Two. Here's how it works. Preventive services are two cleans and exams per year, plus x-rays. 100% coverage with the $50 deductible that's applicable. Basic services are fillings and extractions. Major services are essentially everything else, but it's inclusive of implants. With our basic and major services, we offer graded benefits, which five years ago when Secure Life kind of started, that was, we were kind of one of the, the new kids that had kind of a shiny object at that point, and we're really one of the first people that started doing it. And uh, we, we've had a fair amount of copycats ever since. But it's worked very well for us. And the reason why is because you get that immediate gratification in the client. Um, it's got some sizzle in the marketplace with the fact that you can technically say no waiting periods. And then from, a, from an agent standpoint, the, the reason why it seems to work better is because the persistency is a little bit stronger. So thus your renewals uh, continue on for a little bit longer. Basic services at 35% day one, 65% after a year, and 80% after two. Major services are 15% day one, 50% after a year. We're the only carrier that offers day one benefits on ortho. Now, I shouldn't state such this, you know, definitive statements like that because, uh, you know, the second I keep stating that, I'm, I'm not aware of some ABC carrier that now has day one coverage on ortho. But I guess I should say the last time I checked, <laughs> which was a couple months ago, we're the only carrier on ortho. And I guess if I keep saying that long enough and loud enough, uh, someone will eventually try to copy. <laughs> but nonetheless, last I checked, we're the only carrier that offers ortho. 15% day one, 50% after a year. So that's a huge benefit, especially for those of you on the 165 side. I'd be selling that all day long. You know, braces are only going up and up in coverage in terms of the cost. 
So the fact that you can give them some benefit right away is, is a pretty big deal. This plan is an annual maximum of $2,000. So this is our quote unquote rich plan. Um, so to get a little bit more granular or to give you some details that you're not going to typically hear, this is our top selling plan. About 70, 75% of our enrollments are the Advantage Plus plan. Um, we made a, a plan design change back in, I believe it was June of 2016. And historically, the split was pretty evenly 50-50 between our two plans. Um, ever since we made that change, it, it has gone dramatically uh, leaning towards the Advantage Plus 2. And so if you're a person that already sells our plans I, I, and you have feedback on the why, um, I've gathered a fair amount of feedback on the why, but I'm uh, perpetually curious, so feel free to, to shoot us that info. Here's our other plan, the Advantage, Advantage 2. This plan is really, it, it, it's pretty unique. Um, this plan was kind of my baby. This is something that I thought up of um, really for the, for the agents that are doing high volume business, for the agents that want to keep a simple story. Um, I was kind of thinking of you in this instance. I don't know if this plan is going to really become what I was envisioning, but nonetheless, um, I, I think it's got a unique niche. So here's how it works. It's preventative services, two cleans and exams per year. We do that across the board, inclusive of x-rays, 100% day one coverage. From there, we're trying to change the conversation. We're trying to say, forget preventative, basic, major, all these various categories, because the dental insurance carriers made up those categories, right? And to make matters more complicated, the insurance carriers have different procedures in those categories, and the insurance carriers have different coverage levels within those categories. And so if I'm one of the individuals on this webinar that isn't really actively cross-selling dental insurance, this plan may kind of speak to you. Because if I put myself in your shoes for a moment, I am assuming that you think, you know what, it's just frankly not worth it. Um, dental is dental. There's all these different plans. I don't even know if, it, if, if the value is there for my client. It can, be, can, it can become confusing. I don't want to confuse my client after, you know, I, got, I just got done doing a sale. I don't want to risk that sale, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And then God forbid if you, if you think about trying to compare us to a couple other different carriers, and like I start to mention, all these carriers do things differently in terms of their coverage levels, this plan would be for you if you're that type of individual. Uh, and the reason why is because you can say, all right, your preventative services are covered at 100%. That's simple. Everyone kind of knows what that means, and they're expected and used to that from their group coverage. From there, forget the whole basic, major, ortho, all these different you know categories. Just say everything else, they just lump them all into one bucket. They call them additional services, but all other services are covered all at the same rate. That rate's 10% if you need to get anything done tomorrow, and that includes pre-existing conditions. It's 25% after a year, and it's 50% after two years. Once you've held the policy for two years, it'd be 50% going forward for the life of the plan. Real simple conversation. $1,000 annual maximum, $50 calendar deductible. There's nothing simpler than that. Now, if you're in one of these three states, Connecticut, Illinois, and New York, this is the plan for you. In those states, they are what we call internally the 50% states. Um, graded benefits do not work in those, in those three states uh, because those DOIs, have uh, a minimum co-insurance of 50%. And so thus, we've had to adjust the plan designs. And if you try to take our two plans, Advantage and Advantage Plus, and adjust them for these 50% states, you essentially come out to the same plan. So thus, we just offer one plan in those states, the Advantage Plus plan. Um, exams and cleans are same thing, 100%. The basic services are covered at 50% day one, which is a little bit higher. And the major services, we have no choice but to have a waiting period of 50% of, um, coverage, but it's a nine-month wait. So the waiting period is a little bit shorter vis-a-vis -vis most competitors, 12 months. Ortho is a one-year wait, $50 calendar year deductible. And then because we just have one plan, we, we give the choice on this plan of either $1,000 or $2,000 annual maximum. So once again, Connecticut, Illinois, New York, that is your plan. With our plans, now that we spoke about Advantage and Advantage Plus, you have the choice. You can sell them a MAC plan or you can sell them a UCR plan, which is fairly unique to us. So 
one big thing that I'll show you once we show you the enrollment link is find out if they're going to utilize the network. If they are, sell them one of the network plans. If they're not, you don't have to convince them to go in network or you don't have to convince them or really explain to them that, okay, well, by buying a network plan, you know, your, your, your out-of-pocket expenses could be greater. And then they go, how much greater? And they go, I don't know. All this material is really big. <laughs> Just go ahead and offer them the UCR plan. That's why it's there. So that's, that's something that's fairly unique to us. Uh, probably the biggest thing that Ameris brings to the table other than the brand and the financial strength and stability is the network. We've now got the largest network if you look at the individual dental plans that are out there. Uh, over 427,000 access points nationwide. Amongst the providers were, were um, very well known, very well liked. We do a lot of group business. Um, we've got very high persistency amongst the providers. We have an app where if you want to do a lookup, you can do so. Um, obviously, that, that find a dentist search is also on our website, but that's a huge deal for us. Here's what's unique about the network, and I'll talk about this best economic value next, but I wanted to show you this. Here's what's unique about our network. If we were to all go out tomorrow and try to build a network, you could do so, and you could do so in really two distinctive ways. You could build a very wide network that has everyone and their mother in it, but with very little discount, i.e. like a delta, or you could build a very skinny network emulating a, an HMO plan um, where you've got a very small set of providers but a very large discount. Same thing like with health insurance, of course. What Emeritus does a good job of is they do a good job of straddling both. So they've got a large network almost 430,000 access points nationwide. That's one of the largest. Really, if you, if you look at true PPO plans, it's, it's the largest in the individual space, and it's the third largest in the, in the large group space. But what they do a good job of is they are still delivering an economic value. And what I mean by that is they are still obtaining an average discount of 30%. As a matter of fact, I get monthly updates on the recent recruitment and the utilization and discount reports, and I just saw last month that this number ticked up to 31%. So Ameris does a, the Ameris Network does a really good job of delivering value to your client, and just not by a way of a really wide network or a deep discount, but both. And so you can give them a really wide access, but also know that you're giving them really good financial savings to their plan, which kind of comes into this whole conversation of, is dental insurance even worth it? Um, does it even make sense to offer? Am I better off to stick with medical or Medicare? And, you know, the supplemental plans that kind of go with that. So on the Medicare side, it would be like a Part D plan, maybe a hospital indemnity plan. On the ACA side, it would be the ACA or the short term, maybe with the fixed benefit, and then add on, you know, the, the CI and the accident. If that is of a thought process, then... I would encourage you to really kind of look no further than Emeritus because I don't want to portray that Emeritus is everything to everyone. Uh, no one company is perfect at everything, but the area where Emeritus really shines through is in the economic value that they deliver to your client because there's really only two things that come into play when you're talking about the best economic value. That's the network and the product. Here's another tidbit that you don't typically hear or you wouldn't hear if you just if you weren't on this webinar, frankly. If you looked at the dental products that are available in the marketplace, we have the highest loss ratio that's filed. So thus, nobody's given back um, more dollars to your client than us. So if you factored in rates and benefits, no one's got a more competitive plan than us. But that alone is not a, a complete fact because it doesn't take into account the network. With the network, we've got a 41% utilization rate with a 30% average discount, at least amongst our 65 plus insureds. For those of you that are more on the under 65 side, the, that utilization rate actually is higher. It, it's about 55% if memory serves correctly. And so what does that tell you? It, what it tells you is, is when you factor in our network, in conjunction with a very competitive product, I, I firmly believe there's nobody else that's going to give dollar for dollar a better value to your client than us. Let me kind of use these 
sample procedures as they give you an example. So if you looked at something like an exam or even a, a cleaning, doesn't matter. Here's the UCR rate, $60. We'd get a very good network discount of $30. But frankly, who cares? We covered it 100%. So there's 0% out-of-pocket cost for the clients. What is the savings? 100%, whether that's day one or down the road. But let's look at something a little bit more interesting. Let's look at together a crown. The crown UCR cost, and this is based upon a Minnesota zip code, which is kind of middle of the road pricing. West Coast is typically a little bit higher in pricing. Down South, typically a little bit lower. The, the middle of the road crown pricing is $1,117. Our network rate, maximum allowable benefit, MAB rate, brings that down to $748. Then, because we will pay for some of the crown coverage even right away, even if they know they need to get a crown, we will cover at least 15%. What is the overall savings to the client? It's 43%. Day one. And so how do I get to that 43%? I am taking into account the actual network savings plus the 15% insurance. That gives you 43% savings on an immediate benefit. So if the client called you and said, I need to get a crown, how much can you get me? I would, I would, hmm, what's the best way to word this? I would encourage you to see if you can find anybody else who can deliver you a greater savings to your client than 43% day one on a crown. <laughs> uh, I started off this webinar, Tammy, by saying that I, I didn't want this to become the, the typical carrier webinar. And, and, and here I just kind of went politically correct with that statement. <laughs> <laughs> you did. It's okay, though. It's, it's a great, great opportunity and plans for everybody. So, Absolutely. No Absolutely. worries. And if you take it one step further, um, if you look at the full benefits, so after a year, crowns are covered at 50%, then the overall savings to the client at that point is 66%. So it's, uh, you know, when you talk about the best economic value, um, I feel pretty passionate. We've got a pretty good opportunity there. Now, specific to those of you that are working in the senior space, and, um, and, and Tammy mentioned that, that most of the distribution is usually on the under 65, but saying that, I realize that many are you know, with so much changes on the ACA side, constantly kind of reevaluating you know, other markets, and I am assuming Medicare is probably one of those markets that you're looking at. Here's some stats for you. Uh, generally speaking, before I go on the stats, your cross sale is not going to be as high on the dental side for Medicare as what it would be on the health insurance. Usually my health insurance guys are going to be cross-selling dental much higher than the Medicare guys. Part of that is by necessity. The other part of it is just market forces. But specific to the senior market, 71% of those that are retiring and tend to get dental again um, once they retire. So even though they're gonna pay for it themselves, they're still gonna get dental. 58% of those seniors have dental currently. That was done by, by a gal study. So the, the opportunity is definitely there, whether you're on the under 65 or the over 65. So if you have interest in offering the plans, um, what you would do is you'd contact Tammy and team at AHCP, and they would go ahead and get you appointed. Once you get appointed with us, we will send you a, an email similar to this, although it's been rebranded at this point. Um, so I've got to update this slide. But ultimately, what does it have in here? It's got your own enrollment link, which I'm going to show you next. So let's do so. Your enrollment link is going to bring you to this page. And you can use this as an agent enrollment link, or you can use it as a consumer enrollment link. When Security Life was building this out five years ago, um, I, you know, we're a pretty small company back then, and so thus, they're they're asking me, what do we need to do? And I told the VP of marketing, like, you need to make a consumer-friendly website. And at that time, the uh, the CEO and also the head of sales kind of like looked at me, going, well, what the heck? We we distribute through agents. We're you know we're not we're not changing our model to this direct-to-consumer model. My thought process was, if it's intuitive enough for a consumer. It's going to be intuitive enough for everybody, inclusive of the agents. And so we want to make your jobs as simple as possible. And we also want to make this product and process as simple as possible. And so we, we've done a really good job, in my opinion, in ways of making an enrollment tool that kind of is conducive of that. So here are the plans. Notice, remember I mentioned you have the option of network or non-network. You know that because the plan will say network in the title, or this one does not. Also. This is designed for those who utilize a Meredith uh, net, network provider. 
that says freedom to use any dentist. And you can click on this link and look somebody up. Um, so I did a Minnesota zip code once again. And reminder, that's kind of middle of the road pricing. And so look, I mean, our cheapest plan, the Advantage Network plan is only $23.32, extremely affordable. Now this will flex up to about, I'm gonna guess about 27, 28 bucks um, in a very expensive area and get as cheap as about $18 in a inexpensive area. Here's the other plan, Advantage Plus Network, $36.65. The non-network version, version is $53.26. If you want to view the details, you can do so. It keeps you all on the same page. You can see everything I just spoke about. You're not jumping around pages. You want to purchase, you can purchase. It's going to ask, do you want to view the vision plans or do you want to check out? Let's do the latter. We're cross-selling, um, I shouldn't say we, um, our agents that represent our products today, on their dental enrollments, they are cross-selling vision somewhere between 50 to 60% of the time, depending on kind of when we look at the data. We, we have some distributors that sell vision on a standalone basis, which you could do as well, but from a cross-sell standpoint, if you're gonna ask about dental, you might as well ask them about vision while you're in here, um, because 50 to 60% of the time when you do so, you also get a vision enrollment. We do standalone plans, we don't do combo products, if you do a combo product, somebody is going to be buying the plan and paying premium on something they're ultimately not going to use. So we really stuck strong with um, offering an all standalone individual products because then we can offer a product that they truly want and need and build a much more robust, comprehensive plan. We have both networks. We're the only carrier that offers both networks side by side. Once again, I shouldn't make such definitive statements because uh, the business is always changing. But we have we do have IMED and VSP side by side. Um, the IMED plan is $10.67, the VSP plan is 1634 Just like the dental, it has the day one benefits, it has everyday effective dates. You can view all the details here. $130 allowance on the IMED plan, $150 allowance on the VSP plan. Um, about 70% of our enrollments are this IMED plan, about 30% of the enrollments are the VSP plans. VSP, I'm going to proceed to check out here, but I'm going to kind of pontificate here a moment on the networks. Uh, in, in, in my view, I might be biased, but I really see IMED kind of kicking VSP's butt as of late. If you've been in this business for anything longer than I have, which was 10 years, um, you'll know that VSP used to be kind of the 800-pound gorilla. And in many respects, they still are, especially in the group space. But... I really see the VSP model, excuse me, I really see the IMED model kind of taking a hold. You know, with the IMED model, they came from, they're owned by Luxottica, which makes frames. Sorry, I'm a typical guy, I can't multitask. I, I thought I could. Um, let me just finish my thought about IMED and VSP. Uh, IMED owned by Luxottica, and then after that, we're gonna go through questions. So Tammy, feel free to start kind of getting the questions ready. Uh, IMED is owned by, Perfect, thank you. IMED's owned by Luxottica. Luxottica makes, you know, Oakley, Ray-Bans. They're in the business of selling frames, right? And so they went out and got stores, and they specifically got eye doctors. And what they told them was, stop thinking of yourself as a this, like, high-end eye doctor. What you're doing on a daily basis is, is an eye exam. Not to belittle it, but we need to get as cheap as possible of an eye exam from you. Uh, we need a $30 eye exam, knowing that you're going to make it up for volume. VSP held on to the notion of, you know, what eye doctors were supposed to represent and all the things that they can do beyond eye exams. An eye doctor profession is much more than just an eye exam, but the reality of it is, is the vast majority of people that go see an eye doctor are usually because of an eye exam. And so their allowances and their reimbursements to the, to the independent providers is significantly, significantly higher, which ultimately is going to get factored into the cost of the insurance. They kind of romanticize about how the business used to be. And so over time, more and more business has been going to IMED. And even in the group space, the employer coverage, where VSPs dominated historically, what I keep hearing from my counterparts at Emeritus on the group side is more and more of their business is shifting to IMED because it's much more competitive from a price standpoint. And in the individual space where you've got, when prices, not everything, but pretty darn close to everything, especially when that individual is paying for it themselves, uh, I, I would really kind of lean towards the IMED plan. Um, IMED's got all the big box chains, so LensCrafters, ProVision, Target Optical. Um, they, they, they do a really good job in that regard. And, and how and why, it all comes back to their model as a whole, which the model is just selling the frames because 
they're material makers in that regard. Uh, back to the dental here for a moment and the enrollment. This is kind of page two. First page is I enter on all the client's information. The next page is the payment. Credit card or bank check and account, we all we offer either. Um, you just put in the card info. The payment date is going to be whatever the effective date is. We offer any day effective dates. So if they're very specific on what day we charge their card or draft from their account, just put that as the effective date. And once again, you as the agent can be doing this. Try that again. And you don't even have to, I mean, we don't do any sort of voice verification. And so even if you just want to review the plans with them and get a verbal for them, you know, after you sign on for the health insurance or after you sign on for Medicare, if they say, all right, here's the plan, that plan costs 34 bucks, how's that sound? They go, yep, go ahead and enroll me, Mr. Agent. You don't, you can hang up the phone or you can leave their house and enroll them when you get back in the office or you can give it to your secretary or assistant to enroll. This can be just a pure agent enrollment. Check this box in, you agree with the outline of coverage. Here's a final summary of what you're getting, what you're buying, what's in your shopping cart, et cetera. You hit submit. You get a thank you for your purchase. From there, within a minute or two, you're gonna get this email right here saying a confirmation. And this is really where the magic happens with the Meredith and um, is because everything on the back end is automated. Um, you're going to get that email confirmation automatically. We're going to do an overnight feed into our admin system. So your client will be in the admin system. You know, I mean, how many of you have had a, if you had a dollar for every single time, you'd call up a carrier and said, oh, hey, I submitted this application. Where's the ad? And they go, oh, I don't know. You know, going to find out you just called the wrong department because it's still pending with underwriting or error or an admin or whomever, you know. I, as a carrier rep, I don't I don't get those calls. I'll let Tammy speak to as a GA. Um, and then from there, you know, same thing. We've got a, an API feed set up with the printers. And so the fulfillment, the ID cards all go out automatically. We ship ID cards. Um, and, and then last but not least, another thing that Emeritus is really going to kind of shine is from an admin standpoint and a service standpoint. Uh, Emeritus has a big benefit in the fact that dental is what they do. They are in a health care that just so happens to be also adding dental because it's convenient or Medicare supplement carrier that's added dental just because they know they can trip into some enrollment. Dental's what they do. They've got an expertise in dental. And I, I've yet to figure out a way to articulate this well other than I just wish everyone could kind of come to Lincoln, Nebraska and, and see it. But if you were to walk through really the claims in the admin section of Meredith, I think that's where you'd have the greatest appreciation for kind of how Meredith is so much more different. The technology that they have um, at the dental level and the claims level is really second to none. They've got these scanners that can scan x-rays at a high resolution um, so they can pick down to like a specific tooth, you know, what's appropriate for that specific claim. They've got independent doctors that are on staff to verify any claims that are going into like a suspense or a review stage. It, like I said, I, I kind of need to, as a carrier rep, work on a, a better way to articulate all of that. But, you know, it, it really comes through when you start placing business with us that you can see that this gentle thing isn't just something on the side for us. This is a core line for us. It's the line. It's the biggest thing that Ameris does. Last but not least, um, there's a benchmark portal. This is something that all call centers can submit and enter into. It's not just in, um, insurance based, it's all call centers. It's based upon size, small, medium, or large. Uh, small is underneath 100 call center agents, uh, call center reps that is. Medium is like 100 to 500 and the large is 500 plus. Emeritus falls within that medium range and within the insurance space, no insurance company has received the benchmark portal two years in a row, but Emeritus has received it 10 years in a row. So it's pretty cool. I'm not promising or saying you're never going to have any issues with the Meredith. You know, we'd all be foolish to, to do so. Um, but what I am saying is if you're looking for a good dental plan, um, I really believe we've got it. So with that, uh, Tammy, I want to turn it back to you. Let's run through questions, and, and hopefully we've got a list of them here, and we can uh, try to get as personal as possible. Sounds good. Thank you. Um, definitely just want to call attention to everybody. There are some uh, handouts there downloadable for you. Um, hopefully you can see those in the little um, slide box there, so please make sure that you grab some of those. Um, they're downloadable PDFs of the various products that Brian has covered for us. 
And then also um, definitely feel free to chat, you know, um, any questions that you guys have. Brian is here, um, you know, offering up his time to be able to assist you guys. So please feel free to, you know, pop through any questions that you might have for him. And one of the first questions that is popping up is, what is the best way to market these products? Mm, that's a good question. Maybe kind of a million dollar question. Um, I would say the best way to market these products, this might not be the answer that this individual is looking for, but it's on a cross-sale basis. I wouldn't, necess I wouldn't necessarily be looking to um, build out like a dental website. Um, I mean, I, you could use dental as a door opener, but ultimately, who's selling our plans? It's those that are cross-selling. And so the largest sugars of the health or the Medicare are, are usually selling our plans. So to answer the question, I would, I would say the best way to market them is on a cross-sale basis and just incorporating dental into all of your sales. If, you, if you're at least asking about it every single time, you can join that camp of the 50 to 75% cross-sale rate versus being in the camp of 0 to 25%. Perfect. And had this popped through a couple different times now. Um, for clarification, product availability for Illinois. Can you kind of cover that a little bit more? Because there is some product availability in Illinois, and I think it might have gotten missed. Yep. So in Connecticut, Illinois, and New York, this is the plan that's available. Got your Advantage Plus 2. Correct. Perfect. And the one thing I absolutely love about your guys' plans is because they do offer the orthodontic services. Um, I think that's fantastic, as well as having that, um, you know, major coverage, you know, right off the start there. Uh, you don't find very many dental plans that have that, you know, without a six-month waiting period or a year waiting period. So I think yeah. that's great. Absolutely. Um, it, just another thought on, on the previous question with respect to the marketing. I have been starting to get from our senior distributors. Um, I've been hearing a fair amount of success with using dental as a door opener. You know, my answer in my initial response was those that are predominantly selling this are selling it on cross sell, and that is a fact. Um, but I do think that you could have some success by using this as a door opener. So whatever your marketing method is, um, whether it's whether it's internet leads, whether it's traditional mailers, I, I would hope that we're all kind of moving towards more of a digital route. But I realize all still have a certain degree of success. Think about um, using dental or using a non-core product as an avenue. And so if you're buying health leads, if you're buying Medicare um, leads online, um, if whoever you're buying them from also offers dental, I would just try out, buy some dental leads, and obviously see if you can sell them a dental plan. Hopefully you just found a good product after listening to this webinar. But use that as a door opener to see if you can also get the medical or the short term or the Medicare, uh, whatever it may be. So th because there are a lot of agents out there in the independent community that do not cross-sell dental, they just simply say, ah, oh, if you need it, just go ahead and Google it yourself. It is an underserved market from a consumer standpoint. And so, uh, you know, so something to think about and something to try. But I have heard of a handful of distributors, most notably on the senior side, that are executing on their current marketing plans, but using dental as the lead by way of getting the core product with some success. So food for thought. Perfect. Um, another question that came through, if you're already appointed with Security Life, do you have to reapply? And also, is there a separate appointment for the group enrollments? And that, um, if you're already appointed, you should not have to reappoint. You should be good to go. So that one I'll cover. <laughs> and you should have group enrollment already available to you as well. That's correct. What the only clarification of is, is if you sold the, I'll call it like the Emeritus proper group previously, like before they purchased Security Life, those appointments are separate, like they're tailored plans for their large group. Um, so the way that Emeritus kind of operates on their appointments is they're somewhat product specific. And so if it's, if it's a group plan that's their tailored plan, those, those appointments are separate. Um, HCP does offer our small group solutions mm -hmm. in addition with our individual. Um, but yeah, everything's kind of on a, on a product basis. But yeah, so if you're appointed today with, with Emeritus for the PrimeStar products, um, you don't have to get reappointed, no. Perfect. Now, if you're appointed through another general agency that's not as great as HCP and you like to see <laughs> that HCP offers, and you want to get reappointed, 
you can do so. Definitely. Uh, another question, Jason's just firing them at me. I love it. Right. So braces over age 19 for Advantage plus two. Is that available? Nope. Not for 19. Correct. All right, perfect. The next question is, what is the maximum deductible for the Advantage Plus 2? If you could re-show that. Oh, it's right in front of us. Yep. Uh, uh, calendar yearly actually, deductible, there we go. Correct, but but it's it's 3X, I think is probably what that person's getting to. So uh, with a family, the maximum is three deductibles. So if you have a family of six, we're only gonna subject you to three deductibles out of that family of six, so $150. Perfect. Um, the next question is, let's see, we answered the Illinois question. Um, let's see, uh, what is the difference between going directly with Emeritus if you already have the network available through Team Corp? There's always so the, a benefit of going direct with the carrier. Yeah, so Emeritus actually doesn't do any direct appointments, um, at least not on the individual side. They do with their with their large group sales force. They've got about 100 uh, Emeritus sales reps that are out there working with agents on a direct basis. We don't offer any direct contracts. All of our contracts are offered through general agencies, um, Yep, like HCP. Team Corp is a different product altogether. That is what I would consider kind of like a private label product that's separate from Prime Star. With that plan specifically, um, what they're doing to try to keep the rate down as low as possible to kind of allow for that higher comp is they're using actually the skinny version. They're using a slice of the Emeritus Classic Network. So the Prime Star plan, uh, going the wrong way here, <laughs> utilizes the, the, the Classic Network, which is the broadest network, giving you four and, just about 430,000 access points. The Team Corp chooses to use one of the skinny plans, and I think that number is about 50 or 60,000. So that's kind of the one caveat there. Perfect. Um, and then another question here. Let's see. Does this product waive all waiting periods for clients replacing current dental coverage? It does not. The the plans themselves are just kind of uh, stated as is whether or not they have dental currently. And then, <laughs> boy, they're making you do some comparison with other plans. I love this. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> How is the difference from Spirit Dental Plan Network, uh, 1,200, 2,500, and 3,500 for Illinois? Um, you know, what are some of the, the premiums? Yeah, so I, I won't get as granular from a premium standpoint because that's, that's state specific. And even within Illinois, mm -hmm. I think it's about four different rate factors. And so I, we would need to get you know very granular there, um, but just but just kind of at a high level, this is what we're offering in the state of Illinois, the Advantage Plus plan. Uh, a couple a couple distinguishing differences is we keep fillings and simple extractions underneath basic services, where the Spirit plans putting them down to major services. Mm -hmm. And I don't say any of this to be good, bad, or indifferent, because anything that we change is going to have a corresponding rate change, either positive or negative. If you cover a service at a lower percentage, that's going to lower your rate. If you cover a service at a higher percentage, that's going to that's going to raise your rate. But I, I guess here's your headline. The headline is is the Prime Star is the lead flagship product for Emeritus, which is what HCP represents on a direct basis. The Spirit product is a private label product off of Prime Star. It's ultimately the same filing and the same rating. And so, if you were to make these benefits match, the rates themselves would match. So thus, kind of the only other thing that comes into play is commission, and uh, that is going to be probably the biggest distinguishing factor. So if you go ahead and take a look at your, your spirit commission, if you're a street agent, that's 8 and 4, 8% renewal, excuse me, 8% first year with a 4% renewal. With HCP, if you contact Tammy, she can run through all the levels with you, but that's going to start at 25% because you're working on a direct basis instead of going through somebody else. Okay, and how do we get Emeritus group enrollment applications for large groups? Yeah, so that we, I, I or we don't handle any of the large group. That's completely separate. Um, like I said, there's about 100 sales reps all across the country that, that support that plan, and frankly, I'm not as well educated as what I probably should be. 
on what that process looks like or how it even starts. So I guess what I would offer would be, um, Tammy, if you can get that individual's information sure. to me, um, I will refer them to whatever group rep covers that geographical location. Sounds good. Don, if you could send me your email address, that would be great, and I'll get that over to Brian for you. Um, let's see. Do we have other ones? Um, I answered one. Um, somebody had asked about the, the commissions and where do you find that information. Uh, HCP Agency Services can provide um, information to you guys for contracting as well as commission rates, let you guys know all that information. So you can always, um, you know, reach out to the agency service team um, or send them an email at contracting at ahcpsales.com. Or you can just, um, if you received an email from me today about the webinar, you can always um, just send me a quick email and I can get it over to the team and they can provide that information to you guys. If you're needing it, we can get you guys set up with whatever we can possibly help you out with. Thank you so much, Don. I appreciate for your uh, contact information there. I'll get that over to Brian for you. Uh, anybody else have any additional questions, comments, anything else that we can cover for you? Your opportunity. Uh, Tammy, where can folks find uh, this recorded webinar at? Okay, so in a matter of a day or two, um, my marketing gentleman will go ahead and get it converted onto the ahcpsales.com website. We have a training library um, page there where you'll see additional webinars. Uh, we always put our webinars up. Um, for you know, agents to go back, review, have an opportunity to maybe catch something that they may have missed um, the first time through. So you can always find it at ahcpsales.com under the training uh, tab. So you'll find that in there. And as I said, don't forget there are those um, PDF handouts that you can download. And I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to see if I can pop this. Um, pop this little poll back up again. I'm hoping that yeah. it doesn't disconnect us <laughs> and see if everybody has an opportunity to um, possibly um, go ahead and, and answer it again. The other thing I was going to mention, Tammy, was if, um, if, if folks like this idea of best economic value and they want to start speaking of that to their clients, we just recently created a piece that, that talks about it, and when I say recently, I don't even think it's probably completely finalized with legal yet. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, if, if anyone wants a, a piece that kind of encompasses that concept, um, I can I can get those pieces over to anybody that requests them. In addition to the brochure that you already provided. Fantastic. Sounds good. I appreciate it. I don't think it's going to let me open the poll back up. Gosh dang it! I tried. Um, I will uh, actually. Oh. I, Sorry, I've got a, I'm not multitasking very well here. I, uh, it's asking me to make you the presenter. Here you go. Okay, perfect. All right. Let's see if we can open this poll back up. I'm not sure if it allows us or not. I think it's just showing us the poll results. So, oh, unfortunately. Hmm. Oh. I, if, if anyone, I would love to hear from those that are, in that uh, 75 to 100 percent camp, 14 mm -hmm. percent of you are cross selling it almost every single time. It, in any uh, just kind of commentary you'd be willing to provide for the sake of the the greater good and kind of what's working, what's not working, um, mm -hmm. I, I'd love to hear so. Or for those of you that are on the other side, zero to 25 percent, if there's been an impediment on kind of why you haven't offered it previously. Um, We'd like to kind of hear that feedback as well. Once again, we're just trying to kind of tailor this message as much as possible to help you, albeit we're in a, probably in a, a delivery format that's not the greatest way of doing so. Most definitely. And we have, you know, a great training team with Dan um, Giancola, who really, you know, weekly will give little ideas and tips. And one of the things that he um, has covered in the past um, and we'll revisit here soon is kind of upselling and cross-selling and, and how to do that, you know, how to present it. Um, so definitely, you know, we always always try and promote that as much as possible with agents. We realize that, you know, right now um, with the major medical market, the way that it is, 
that really for agents to be able to um, really, you know, make their earnings at this point in time and make it worthwhile to do those sales with their major medicals, they need to be able to upsell and cross-sell. Um, and dental and vision is always one of those that we um, recommend for people to, you know, throw in the mix of things. So, What I'll say to that is, well, two things. Um, one, you can cross-sell anything that you want. Dental was the one product where you are actually going to, from time to time, get asked about it. You can sell anything, but dental is one thing that people will buy from you. You can sell mm -hmm. hospital indemnity, but nobody's asking you, do you have a good hospital indemnity plan for me to buy from you today? People will ask you about vision and dental. So that's a distinguisher that I would I would thus make dental at the top of your list from a cross sale standpoint. Uh, second thing I was going to say was a uh, oh, perfect. Thank you for sending me that, that Don's info. Second thing I was going to say was take advantage of some of those value add services that HCP is offering. I've been on that webinar that Tammy just referenced that uh, that Dan that Dan does regarding around cross sell. You know, he was an agent previously in the field. He's really got his finger on the pulse, and you know. It's those type of things where they're really, I believe HCP is really going above and beyond in terms of what they're what they're offering. They're not just in it from a contracting standpoint, like unfortunately so many are in this business. And the the golden nuggets you can you can take out of those type of uh, settings and webinars, and hopefully even from the webinars today, can really be second to none to your business. I mean, even if it's just one thing that you take back and change. I mean, my whole goal, if, if anything, if anybody does anything from this, other than maybe a couple people get appointed, if one of you that's in that camp of 0 25% in terms of your cross selling, which is half of the attendees here today, were to start offering dental, just asking the question every single time, and thus it's been a systemic change to how you approach your business, I would consider that a win for the day and well worth all of our time together. So hopefully you take some action and kind of take some of those feedbacks and just look for that golden nugget of where you can apply it to your business. Definitely, I agree. Well, thank you so much, Brian, for your time. It's it's definitely been a pleasure, you know, having to go over the details. Had some great questions. You were able to just, you know, fire off the answer right back. I appreciate that. Um, and you know, definitely everybody's time today has, has been greatly appreciated. Thank you, Tammy. Thank you, everyone, for joining. Have a great day. You too. Thank you.